Hello, hello, hello. We got Kenny Evans here. We got another car video. And this video is about dating during the COVID-19 pandemic. And it's uh, it's very, 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 very simple. Very easy. And I know this is a whole nother type of dating. You know, and, um, you know, the whole world is in this pandemic. You know, so some people take it pretty seriously. You know, and that's up to you if you choose to or not. There's no right or wrong. I'm not talking about that in this video. But, um, so with that, the world's changed a little bit for now. So you have to change uh, when it comes to your dating also. You got to go with the flow and uh, go with the changes of time. So with that being said, um, obviously online dating is very popular right now. And, but still, I want you to know, people are still meeting up and hooking up, having sex with women. Believe it or not, people are still having sex, <laughs> regardless of all this stuff going on. I just want you to know that first. So, uh, that being said, online dating is still very popular right now. Obviously, even more popular now because most people aren't going out. Most people aren't going on dates. So... Uh, with that, whenever you match with a woman, you are going to uh, promote or says, hey, 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 whatever you say, hey, how you doing? You know, I don't like talking with on this uh, dating app too much, so let's uh, FaceTime or talk on the phone, whichever one. You know, maybe we'll we'll meet up. So give me a call or let's talk around this time. Or give me a call around this time. Whichever one you feel. You know, comfortable doing. But you got to realize what you do on the FaceTime is what you should do on the phone. So whenever you guys get that FaceTime or whatever, you're just going to have a very casual conversation. Shouldn't take no more than 10 minutes or so. No more than 10 minutes. And then you'll be like, okay. So, hey, okay. So you real. You still looking good. You know what I mean? So your 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 picture matches what I'm seeing in person. Cool. You know? You got a nice voice. Cool, cool, cool. So how you doing? A little casual conversation, and then you get to the point. So I so said, you looking good. I still want to meet up with you. So when are you free this week? Or you say, hey, you know, you looking good. And I'd like to meet up with you on Saturday. So are you free on Saturday? And if she says yes, obviously you go out, y'all meet up. But if she says, oh, well, you know, I'm a little nervous about this COVID-19. So, uh, you know, I'd rather wait until after it's over. You say, cool, no problem. So whenever this whole thing ends, give me a call and we'll meet up then. All right, cool. And you just let it go. You let it go. And you go find other women. Go match up with other women on social media. You know what I mean? Go get other women. Rinse and repeat. You match. Send a message about not really want to talk on the app. And then you go uh, say, hey, let's do FaceTime. Set up the time to FaceTime. Same thing. If she's down for it, cool. Y'all meet up. If she's not down for it, cool. You wait until she'll give you a call when she's after the whole coronavirus, COVID-19 stuff is over. You know what I mean? And she either will or she won't. <laughs> if she was really interested, she will give you a call. And if she wasn't, she'll blow it. Or if she forgets, she'll blow you off because she wasn't really that interested. And on top of that, that way, you're not going to waste your time and give her a extra attention, unnecessary attention, calling her or talking to her throughout the whole uh, COVID-19 pandemic. You know? So that way, if she's really interested again, she will reach out to you. So you save your time and go get other women. You know, and set that up. You should build up a whole team. Build up a whole team of women to either meet up with now or after this whole thing is over. You know, so there's no excuse for, for not getting women. There's definitely no excuse at all. You know, and for those that are extra brave, who willing to 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 brave out in the real world and go get women? 
You can still do that. There's still a lot of stores that are open. You got your Walmarts, your Home Depots, Lowe's, fast food restaurants, <laughs> you know, even parks. Parks are open too. So you can still meet women the old fashioned way. Oh my gosh, you can still meet women face to face. And that way you cut out the whole dating apps or online dating and you're able to approach, get the number, and then bam, move forward. Either go to her place or she come to your place. So there's really no excuse. You know what I mean? It's very simple. You just have to be willing to do it. You know, this is it's just like any sort of um, crisis, pandemic, you know, there's always people who um, are going to succeed and thrive during, during the pandemic and get better in life. And even after the pandemic, thrive even more, you know, but then obviously the majority are not going to thrive and they're going to suffer and they're going to fail and be even worse. And then when things recover, then they'll recover, but will still not be as high as the people who were thriving during, during the crisis. You know what I mean? So it is very important to realize that, you know, you are always in charge of how your life is going to turn out. If you want to get women during this time, you can get women during this time. You just have to believe you can and take the action to do it. You know, so it's very simple, very easy. And yeah, I mean, this is uh, what I got for y'all today. You know what I mean? Great. Uh, great topic, you know, very simple topic, you know, but, um, and yeah, uh, FaceTime, the whole FaceTime thing, you know, I got that from uh, Cor Corey Wayne, Coach Corey Wayne first, very simple, you know, um, but I think that's something you should be doing even, um, you know, before, after this whole pandemic ends, because still, you can meet up with a woman, but you never know until you meet up with her, if it's really her or not. So a FaceTime instead of a phone call um, would be better. So it save you more time. So you can know who she is and what she's really all about. And if she is who she says she is, you know, phone calls, you know, that's more for the personality, but FaceTime does both. You see the, you get to you get a sense of the personality and you get to see who she is and if she's real. So that's my two cents, you know, FaceTime, I believe, and, you know, video calls are, should be more the new norm, even after this whole pandemic, so you're able to get a better feel, um, but, you know, that's my whole two cents, um, and of course, a lot of people have been jumping on that, because um, a lot of dating coaches on YouTube, and dating coaches, I guess, in general, just because they want to promote staying in, you know, but again, People are still having sex. Women are still getting it in. Guys still getting it in. You just got to be creative. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I got for y'all today. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, whether you liked it or disliked it. You know, I'm, I'm open. You know, I'm always down for a conversation. You know, definitely don't forget to hit that notification button and that bell. You know what I mean? Or the notification bell. So you get notified whenever I make some new videos. Um, if you like, if you found value in this video and you like the video, donate, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I guess that's all I got for y'all and I hope y'all have a, a great week. Stay safe and see you next week.